Check out the latest bowl predictions and discuss them with your fellow fans on the newly launched state-of-the-art message boards only at CBSSportsLine.com. Coming up next, it's Auburn and Alabama in Tuscaloosa. For more on this matchup, here's Tracy Wilson with a Chick-fil-A tailgate report. It's rivalry Saturday, and we're here in Tuscaloosa for the Iron Bowl. Auburn and Alabama meet up for the 71st time today in a game that's talked about 365 days a year. Throw all the records out the window because this one's about bragging rights. This is the most important game of the year, the Iron Bowl. And uh, you're looked and judged by this game. You know that when you first get here, you know this game is going to be important. Uh, and you get reminded of it every, probably every single day. So far, we've been fortunate enough to win four in a row. And, uh, you know, we'd like to make it five coming up. So, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to get Alabama's best shot and they're going to get our best shot. Yeah, you know, we've been playing for so long and, and the tradition for both schools and, and the in-state uh, rivalry, it's just, it's just huge, you know. The state really splits in half, and it's fun to be a part of it. This one means the most to those born and bred here in Alabama combined. These two teams have 95 players from this state. Only one can win. Who will it be? The Iron Bowl coming up next. Thanks, Tracy. And, uh, Tony, you have to believe Alabama studied the game tape of Auburn's loss to Georgia. Oh, there's no question about it. And let me tell you what Auburn is going to do today. Because they struggle so much and because Brandon Cox is struggling with that knee, look for Auburn to really simplify things, to line up and try to run it right at them. That's the key to this game. Well, guys, I can't remember. Alabama's in a difficult spot right now. I cannot recall the last time they were ranked ninth in rushing. 24 sacks are given up. That's a little bit too heavy for a team that's run dominant. They've got issues today. All right, now it's time to shine our Saturday spotlight on some of today's top matchups. A big one in the Pac-10 is Cal and USC fight for the conference title, and at worst, a trip to the Rose Bowl, Tony. I like USC in this game a lot. I think that game they lost to Oregon State was a huge wake-up call. A week or two ago, we thought this was going to be close. Southern Cal wins easily. <laughs> uh, Rutgers and uh, Cincinnati, you have to wonder if the Scarlet Knights might have a bit of a hangover. Well, the thing you got to look here, I'm a believer in Greg Schiano, but his team has one more hurdle to clear for me before I put him in that championship status. Can they run well with a full cup of success? Had a week long mm. to think about how good they are. Let's yeah. see if they pass it. Yeah. Hey, hey, Spencer, I got a question. You know, I didn't get through freshman algebra. But I want to know how Rutgers can be number two in the computer polls. I know the computer's supposed to be blind. There, there you go. Come with, on. There What's you that go, about? There he goes with the anger, the angst, and the bitterness again. All right, let's talk South Florida and Louisville. Louisville could win the Big East, or they could finish in the middle of the pack. Well, what was that old expression? It's a short trip from the penthouse to the outhouse. They could finish as tri-champions or the fourth-place finish. But let me tell you guys, 45 to 15, that's all you need to remember. Last year, this bunch. Just man <laughs> manhandled Illinois. And you know, Tony, it's November the 18th, and Wake Forest is 9-1 and one in the ACC. Are you kidding me? I tell you what, Wake Forest has got a chance to do something no team has ever done at the school, and that's have double-digit victories. Tough game for Wake Forest today because it doesn't matter what they do today. They've got to beat Maryland next week yeah. to win the division. All right, thanks, Tony. We'll see you at halftime, and we'll be back with more after this message and a word from your local station as we take a look at Auburn linebacker Will Herring. He set a school record today with his 48th consecutive start. Vulcan, the mythical god of iron and steel, and a symbol for the state of Alabama, whose core and identity were built on his metal more than a century ago. These days, college football is more than just a cottage industry in this state. And when you are born, you must forge your alliance to either the Crimson Tide of Alabama or the Tigers of Auburn. Give the ball. Alexander cuts up the middle. Up and over. Touchdown. He's in. Touchdown. It is blocked. Williams up the middle. Everybody's going to score. Go crazy, Cadillac. It's good. Sanders. Oh, my goodness. He's in. Touchdown, Auburn. Auburn versus Alabama. This is the Iron Bowl.
welcome you to the Home Depot 